Tales. My name is Jackie Sherry and I am the Water Conservation Education Specialist for athens Clark County. I have a totally awesome job because I work with little Lily here to teach kids just like you about water. We share different tips and tricks for saving water. Today we're going to read a story called Pitter and Patter. The story follows two water drops, Pitter and Patter. And during the story, they're going to spend some time in rivers. Here in Athens, we have two rivers, the Middle Oconee River and the North Oconee River. Raise your hand if you've seen any of these rivers before or visited them. You've probably seen them if you've visited Ben Burton Park, the Botanical Gardens, the Greenway, or even Sandy Creek Nature Center. Now after the story, don't hop away because we're going to come back here and use this shaving cream, a cup of water, and a blue food coloring to make it rain. Thank you for that great intro. Before we start our story, it's time for a quick froggy rhyme. Remember what I need you to do. Put your arm like this and get your finger ready. I'm going to trade my finger out for a friend. Now take your finger and say this along with me. The tiny frogs are hopping. Shh, shh, shh. The tiny frogs are hopping. Shh, shh, shh. They do not make a sound as they hop across the ground. The tiny frogs are hopping. Shh, shh, shh. And now take your hands and put them in your lap and it's time for our story. Pitter and Patter by Martha Sullivan, illustrated by Kathy Morrison. Pitter and Patter dropped from a cool gray cloud one day. Which one do you think is Pitter and which one do you think is Patter? Pitter landed on a leaf of an oak tree. Hello, squirrel. Good morning, blue jay. Rise and shine, caterpillar. Can you find the squirrel, the blue jay, and the caterpillar? I wonder what other animals we're going to see. He dripped into the stream below. Hello, crayfish. Howdy, snake. Best wishes for the day, mayfly. The stream carried Pitter down into the valley. Hello, fox. Greetings, dear. A pleasure to see you again, hawk. It flowed into a winding river. Hello, trout. Good day, dragonfly. All good things to you, otter. The river poured into a wetland of tall, swaying grasses. Hello, crab. So nice to meet you, shrimp. A happy day to you, heron. The wetlands met the ocean. Hello, turtle. A pleasure is always, Ray. See you again soon, jellyfish. Ray, do you think they mean the stingray here? Meanwhile, Patter had landed in a spring meadow. Hello, Daisy. Good morning, Bee. Rise and shine, butterfly. Think Patter's over here. She trickled down into the dark and damp soil. Hello, is anybody there? Oh, hi there, Aunt. Howdy, Earthworm. Best wishes for the day, Mole. She traveled deeper and spilled into the stream of an underground cave. Hello, bat. Greeting, salamander. A pleasure to see you again, cricket. The stream flowed into a river. Hello, beaver. Good day, mink. All good things to you, salmon. And the river swept patter out to sea. A happy day to you, Seal. So nice to meet you, Squid. 
Hello, Pitter. Oh, there's Pitter and Powder. They met each other. In a mist of sea spray, Pitter and Powder met the warm rays of the sun. They became warmer and warmer, and they became lighter and lighter, and they floated up into the sky, where they joined their old friend, the gray cloud. There they go, up into the sky. The end. In the story, we followed Pitter and Patter as they fell as raindrops from the clouds and visited lots of places before ending up in the oceans. Can you believe how many places they visited and how many creatures they saw? Being a raindrop sounds like a lot of fun. What was your favorite creature or favorite place that they visited? Now we are going to make it rain. I'm going to use some shaving cream, a cup of water, and blue food coloring. Using the shaving cream, we're going to make a cloud on top of the water. And then add blue food coloring on top of the cloud. As the cloud gets heavy, we are going to see it rain into the water. Thanks for watching Froggy Tales. See you next month.